Hello Zomboid players and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you an insane mod that adds NPCs to the game. And no I'm not talking about the superb survivor mods. That mod lags and it's full of bugs. This new mod works almost perfectly and it is lag free. It is a revolution for Project Zomboid. So this mod is called Bandits and it is in the beta stage. It is evolving into a fantastic mod. The mod works by spawning small number of survivors that use the same spawning locations like zombies. This is why the mod doesn't tag, unlike superb survivors which modifies the map to spawn NPCs around you. This mod makes small teams of survivors, some hostile, some friendly. It also uses the same helicopter event style icons to show you if survivors are close to you. While the NPCs are automated, they will have their own tasks and have their own roles. I've seen them making beds and even litter the houses with junk and setting up camps in the forest. The survivors can actually get bitten by other zombies and will eventually die and become zombies themselves. You can encounter friendly followers and then you can guide them to your hideout so that they can live there and guard your place. As it is right now, friendly followers can't ride with you in the car, but that's a minor inconvenience and you have to remember that this mod is still in beta stage. Another thing that amazed me is that if you got mods like Brita Weapon Pack or Brita Armor Pack, the NPCs can actually spawn using those weapons and armor packs. The mod also supports Insurgent mod, Handlebars Preppers, ZRE SWAT armor, Authentic Zets, Brita weapon and armor pack and of course you can also use Gunfighters mod 2.0 like I'm doing in this video. These mods are optional, but they can enhance your experience when using this NPC mod. The only required mod when you're using the NPC mod is mod options, because if you find a friendly survivor, you can order them to guard post somewhere. That requires you to use a special keybind that will be available from the mod options. You can control every aspect of this mod from the sandbox option. You can load this mod on an existing save that you already have. There's no need to start with a new game. Just make sure you also use the sandbox option change mod, which allows you to change the sandbox option on your old save. This mod also works fine in a multiplayer server and it's absolutely really fun. The mod author will also keep updating and improving this mod after build 42 is released. The Bandits mod also has some lore behind it, there are factions just like Stalker and every faction has its own story and role in the map. There are desperate citizens which will try to steal items from you and then will just try to run away. There are also cannibals and criminals. If you spawn or go near the prison, you might see some inmates trying to break out of that prison. You won't just see bad guys in this mod, but sometimes you also see soldiers, policemen, government scientists, which can also carry a cure for the zombie virus. There is also bikers, and in the forest you can also meet hunters or even bandits. The NPCs can sometimes break into your hideout, destroying windows and even doors. You will get the according items and warnings when that is about to happen very similar to the helicopter event. This can also happen multiple times, so be careful. I also recommend you to use the build menu mod so that you can rebuild garage doors and build better defenses against these hostile NPCs. If an NPC is badly hurt, they can actually surrender or even run away, taking shelter in a nearby house. NPCs will also use flashlights and have their own endurance. So if you run away, they can't chase you forever. Well survivors, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do test mods and show them to the Project Zomboid community, and also make guides as well.
NPCs also have their own sounds and can taunt you or even warn you not to get too close to them. It is a very interactive mod and it keeps getting better with each update. If you think that you can run over a gang of NPCs with a car, think again as they will quickly disable your vehicle. Now let's take a look at some options in the sandbox settings. Go to the sandbox settings and find the bandits general options. Here you can set the most basic options. I left all the options on apart from the bandits may immobilize player vehicle because I found that option quite annoying. You can also get an option where the NPCs can build bridges but I didn't test it out yet. I will keep this option off for now. Then you can also set each clan parameter. This can be quite tedious at first. Just make sure to save the sandbox parameter so you don't have to set all the options again once you start a new game. As you can see, each faction has its own individual option, which is fantastic. You can make custom scenarios where, for example, there are a few survivors and then there's a lot of government military soldiers that are patrolling and hunting down survivors, for example. Each clan option you got a percent chance of spawning an NPC with a pistol or a rifle. Unlike superb survivor mod, you will hear if one of these NPCs is actually using his gun, even from some distance. NPCs also have limited ammo, once they use all their ammo, they will switch to their melee weapon, sometimes even hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, and NPCs can't use molotovs or other throwable weapons, that would be a terrible idea. You also have dates to delay these NPC spawns or make them spawn after so many days. If you set the starting date to 1, and the end date to 10,000, they start right away and basically never stop spawning. The mod is intelligent and won't over spawn too many NPCs to prevent the game from lagging. Just don't exaggerate with the number of NPCs in each group. The mod right now has over 80,000 subscribers on Steam. So make sure to check it out if you want to spice your Zomboid gameplay. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about this mod or maybe about other mods that I'm using, right here below in the comments. Also make sure to check my mod list on my Steam mod collection. Bye and thank you for watching.